That is so good. Good morning vlog and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Crystal and today I'll be taking y'all through a little what I eat in a day. There's a few new recipes that I've been wanting to try, hoping to keep this day of meals pretty simple and easy. So hopefully it gives y'all some inspiration to cook as well. Let's get started. Okay, but first we gotta go grocery shopping. So let's go. We just got back from grocery shopping, went to Whole Foods and H Mart. Pretty hungry though, so let's make ourselves some breakfast. For breakfast, I think I'm gonna make a Deval inspired toast. If you guys don't know Deval, they have this one toast that's like really popular in New York City, and I just wanna try to recreate it. Usually for breakfast, I crave savory foods, but today, I don't know why, I'm just in a little mood for something sweet. So let's get started. <laughs> Make coffee. Is that why you're there? Thank you for this interesting latte art today. Breakfast is served. We have a lovely oat milk vanilla latte that my boyfriend made for me. And then my Devel inspired cream cheese and jam toast. I added two slices strawberry of strawberry on top for a little garnish and for a little extra fruit. But I'm very excited to eat this. It looks so good. Cheers. Mmm. Very yummy, very yummy. This is like perfectly toasted. Cherry. Let's try the coffee. Mmm. Good as always. Very happy with this. This energy feels very cozy right now too because it's raining outside and very, very gloomy. But I have my coffee and my toast and my little cozy living room area. Feels great. You guys have to try this out. It's so simple to make. Literally just cream cheese, jam, bread, and whatever other extra fruit toppings you want. Mmm. <sighs> Gonna continue to finish my coffee and see you guys at lunch. Hello friends, it is lunch time now and I am so excited to make lunch today. Originally I was going to make like a poke burger, but I didn't have any fresh like ahi tuna or salmon. The ingredients are probably gonna be more similar to like this kind of. I kind of wanted it to look more like a sushi burger like this, but we shall see how it goes. Um, let's try it out together. of actually trying to assemble this thing. I'm gonna make my boyfriend's sandwich first. I'm gonna make a big one for him. So, so first things first, take some sesame oil and I'm gonna line the bottom so that the rice comes out easily. I'm gonna use my finger because I could not be more bothered. Pat it down. You want it to make essentially like the top of a burger and then we're gonna flip it over at the end.
Da da da. Okay, Sherry. No, you cannot have any of this. We have our lovely lunch here. I tried to do a bit of plating. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It just turned out to be like not the prettiest, but you know what? The effort and the thought was there. And then I also got a little sparkling water drink. This is from the brand Kimono. I got this at H Mart. It's like very lightly fruity taste. Let's take a little bite, shall we? I don't really want to ruin her, but I gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh. Mmm. It needs more kimchi. If I were to go back, and do this again, I think I would not season this pan with anything. Like, it's already very salty on its own. Add some more kimchi. I'm literally so full. Hello friends, it is finally dinner time and we're about to cook a delicious curry dish for dinner. I'm so excited because I haven't cooked a curry dish in a long time. Well, actually that's a lie because I had katsu Japanese curry, the brown curry a few weeks ago, but not like a Thai curry, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm gonna shut my mouth now and just get cooking. I'm excited to make this dish with y'all. curry here. I'm so excited to try her out. I think the original recipe didn't call for any protein actually so I just added tofu because I love tofu and curry. Also I cook the tofu separately from the curry just to make sure that the tofu itself has a good enough flavor and a bit of crunch to it because I pan fried it. Let's try her out shall we? Mmm bruh that is so good. This tastes freaking bomb and the thing I love about curries is that even if you like store as leftovers It tastes like even better the following days when you have it again. Pro tip if you want to meal prep I think curries are a really great way to meal prep something really delicious and pretty nutritious too if you cook it with a lot of vegetables Carrots are nice and soft. We're currently watching the k-drama stranger. I think it's two seasons, but it's kind of like a murder mystery slash political drama I well. We are back from Nana's. So we got a matcha swirl, which is literally melting right now. And then I got a little yuzu cheese cake. I've never this before. It melts. Mmm, so good. Mm. Yuzu is so fresh. Yummy. All right, friends, I'm gonna close out today's vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's what I eat in a day video and got some inspiration for meal ideas. I'm going to enjoy my little yuzu cheesecake and watch a swirl. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.